Fencing around a yard creates privacy, security, and can keep out harmful animals. This is cyclone fencing. It's used a lot in construction sites. It's not the most aesthetic option, but it serves the purpose, does the job. This is decorative wooden fencing that blends in with the color scheme of the home. Uh, much more aesthetic option. Keeps neighbors' animals out of the yard, protects the grass. Doesn't really do much in the way of privacy, but it looks awfully nice, especially with a decorative motif. Go with this stockade style fencing, which is really good if you want to block all light entering your yard and don't have a view. Um, it's made out of wood. It's reminiscent of the stockades or forts. Generally, this stuff can go six to eight feet high. Those about classic white picket fence. Find these in a lot of suburbs. Very simple design, very aesthetic, not much in the way of privacy, but it does afford some privacy and helps corral the plants to keep them within a contained space. And here we see a stockade style fence adjacent to a white picket design with closer slats for a little bit more privacy. If you want to be the regal beagle in your neighborhood, check out wrought iron fence. Very, very rugged. This stuff will last decades. Very classic look. Kind of um, high end, you know, going with the wrought iron. This one's been around for a while. A more affordable, <clears throat> cheaper option than wrought iron with the same kind of look is this metal fencing. And it's just kind of metal tubing, but painted black, it looks slightly reminiscent of wrought iron. But on closer inspection, you know, it just doesn't have the same aesthetic charm. So what's your preferred fencing for your yard? Post your comments below, and thanks for watching.